Hi, my friends. It's Bernadine coming at you. Um, coming at you on my channel. Its name is How the Hook Turns. And I'm out here in West Texas in a little corner of my room in a little bedroom in my house. This is where I operate in this little craft room in here. Sorry, folks, my glasses were dirty. Now I can see better. Anyway, how y'all doing? It's Wednesday here, November the 1st. We're already in November. I mean, time is ticking away. Tick, tick, tick. I thought I'd come on here. I didn't post yesterday. And the reason I didn't is, number one, we were in Lubbock again. We're burning that road up to Lubbock, folks. <laughs> All right. You know, I think I told you a video or two back. And we're going to Lubbock Monday. He had an appointment Monday with his balance therapy. Monday at 4 o'clock. So, got all ready. We went over there. We barely made it. I mean, we didn't leave here. It was after 3. And I had to fudge the speedometer a little bit to make it on time. To get there, really. And he went in. And he came right back out. And he said, my appointment's not till tomorrow. I said, no. you got to be kidding me. He told me specifically, Monday at 4 o'clock. He told me that last week, the minute he came out of his therapy. And I said, 4 o'clock? He said, yeah, Monday at 4 o'clock. But after that, it's going to be back on Tuesdays. He sounded so convincing. <laughs> I believed him. So anyway, we, we went over there <sighs> for nothing, really. It was the next day at 4 o'clock. <laughs> Alright. Well, I did do a few things. I did. I have a small yarn haul from Hobby Lobby. And I don't even have it over here. Give me like one second, two second, three second, four second, five second. I dropped it. I was trying to hurry. <laughs> Alright. Sorry about that. I thought I had all my ducks in a row over here. But obviously I don't. So, the, this week is 30% off again, again, again. So, I want to make, you know, I've been doing Ami, 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 Garumi. And I wanted to make a teddy bear. But I didn't have any of the right color yarn. And yarn folks can either make it or break it, right? We know that. And I've broken a few, a few. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so I got two skeins of this Yarn B Soft Stitch. The colorway is oatmeal. It's 210 yards. Uh, it calls for a... Why does it say use 5.5 millimeter crochet hook? And then under it, it says USA size 9, UK size 5. I don't know. It's a five weight yarn, isn't it? Uh, what's the weight on it? No, it's a four. I'm sorry, I thought it was a five. Well, then it must be, it must not need a nine. It must need a 5.5. .5. I don't know why they put that on there. It's very confusing to me. Okay, anyway, this is 100% acrylic, machine washable and dryable, and it's got like that, ooh, it's so soft, it's so nice. So I have two of these, called the Soft Stitch. I picked up this oatmeal, and there was something right by it that said it had a uh, soft something, and I picked it up by mistake. And it was in the color of ivory, sorry, these allergies. And so I put that right back, and I found this one. And this is also soft stitch, the same brand, the same everything, except it's an ivory. And it has 
the 210 yards. So I know I won't need two for the bear, but they're on sale. So I didn't want to just get one. So I got two of these and two of these. So I'm going to be making a teddy bear with that. I think it'll turn out real good. So I paid... dollars and 29 cents a piece for these regular 4.99 so that's good i got uh oh i also got something else i forgot yay look at these eyes i got these are big old eyes these are tw uh, 15 millimeter eyes safety eyes blue eyes i thought i'd put blue eyes on this teddy bear I thought that'd be cute. And I have some small noses, but I found these uh, 20 millimeter noses. Well, let me open it. Let me open it, because you can't see through this plastic. You might can see the eyes, but you can't see this. I want you to see this nose. <laughs> Look. <laughs> He's black, but can you see it? It's like a bear nose, right? Uh-oh, it's got something white on it now. <laughs> Again, a safety nose. Not that it's going to any children, but if it did, you know what? If it was going to go to a child, I wouldn't even trust a safety eye. You know how them babies will pick and pull it, little things like that? What I would do, if it was going to a baby, these are very big, but I would get a, a cigarette lighter, one of those long ones. When you click it, it's got a long handle. It's not a cigarette lighter. It's a fire lighter, I guess. And I would melt that, and I would bend it over the, the, this, the little uh, washer so that nobody could pull that out. Because I would hate to think that some little baby got choked on that. I used to, I'm a nurse, and I, I was a pediatric nurse at one time. And a newborn nursery nurse. I don't know if y'all knew that or not. I have a lot of experience. I've worked with adults in ICU. I've worked for, with adults in surgical ICU. I've wor worked on the medical floor. Then I did 10 years in pediatrics and 9 years in newborn nursery. So... I have a lot of experience with kids, so I would never, ever do that. No, these little things that I made, like this this hippo, I did not bend down the, the end of that safety eye. This would, I would never give this to a child. I would be afraid. I've seen too much. Okay, that's enough about that, but I'm, I'm real happy about those noses. And the eyes, a blue-eyed bear. Won't that be something? Out of these colors. <coughs> Sorry, folks, my allergies are still bad. At least I can say it. I know it is allergies. I can look at the ragweed count when I'm feeling pretty congested, and it's up there. So, now, let me move this yarn. I also have other things. So what I was going to say, I didn't make a video yesterday because we were back in Lubbock at 4 o'clock yesterday. And in between there, I'm working, working, crochet, crochet. Because, folks, i got to get some, some works out. i got to get works. i got to get some objects out. And I, I'm real busy around my house. I don't just, I'm not able just to sit and crochet. I have interruptions. It's just me and my husband, yes, but... I'm not answering that. I get spam calls all the time. Actually, that's about all I do get. So I'm going to ignore that, and it'll just go to voicemail, and I will delete those little suckers off my phone. But I need to... I, I can't just sit down and crochet. I have breakfast to fix for my husband. I have lunches to fix for my husband. I have uh, dinners at night to fix for my husband. I, I, he doesn't get his own medicine, and he's on quite a bit of medicine. I have to pull up his meds for morning and pull up his meds for night. 
The reason he doesn't is he gets confused on his medicine. So he quit. I took that over over a year, well, probably a year ago or maybe a little longer. He was taking pills out of one bottle and putting them in another bottle and mixing them all up. And I didn't know what he was doing. He was, he's been, right now he's doing okay, but he's on some medicine to help him right now. But we can't trust him with his medicine. So I have all that to do. Plus I have cleaning. I have got to clean the kitchen because I cook three meals a day. I just, I'm busy. And this is a big old house to take care of. I don't forget how many square feet it is, but from walking in here back to my bedroom, if you do that a couple of times, you're tired, you know. It's pretty, it's, it's a lot of walking. And then I have to take care of the chickens outside. So, and the turkey and the duck. And so I have a lot. So I get in crochet, like when we went yesterday to Lubbock, excuse me, while he was in for his therapy, I sat in the pickup and I was working on this monkey and I finished him. I just finished him or I wouldn't even be on here. I just finished that monkey and I have something to show you, but I had yard to show you anyway. And I wanted to kind of talk to you and explain a little bit about the way it is around here. And, uh, I'm not complaining. I'm happy. I'm very happy with my life. I've never been so happy. I'm a happy person. <laughs> I don't want to be depressed. I don't want to be, it's not fun to be around anybody that's depressed. And my husband is a little depressed here and there, but I'm not complaining. I'm just saying I have a lot to do. And plus all this, so I have a lot to do. And filming, I want to get some videos out for you guys. And it's kind of hard to do if I don't have anything to show you. So <clears throat> I'm trying to come up with some content for you guys. So I have some content today. I have the monkey. I'm just, I hope you think he's as cute as I do. Because he is a character, I think. So let me move this out of the way. And I'm going to put you over here. First, I'm going to I'm going to move you up a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, let me see. Hold on, folks. Yeah. So I'm going to turn you around. <clears throat> and I'm going to bend your head heads down. Let's bend your heads down. So you can see this monkey. Now, is he in enough light? Let's see. Let me move this light around here. Uh, now, can you see the monkey? That looks shadowy in there. I don't know. Uh, I know you need light on him. Let me move him over this way. Can you see him now? He looks kind of like he's got a shadow, but okay. Here's Max the monkey, and I left his head wobbly because I like him to be able to cock his head. <laughs> I mean, he can be straight. He can be, or he can cock it to the left or cock it to the right, and his arms, I wanted them to be floppy, so I left the stuffing out at the very top, and he's got a little monkey tail. I had a lot of trouble with this monkey tail. It's not the best tail in the world, but I kept ending up with not enough stitches, too many stitches, not enough stitches. I ripped it out a lot. But here's Max the monkey. Introducing da 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 Max the monkey. Okay, I just wanted to show y'all. Now, one of his legs this one's a little bit smaller, and I think I overstuffed this one, but it is what it is, as my daughter always says. So, so that's Max. So, let me move him over here, and let me turn you back around here so you can see me. And I've talked to... 
to so many of you people out there and nice to meet you hi keep keep those comments coming and thank you for subscribing and coming to visit with me and getting to know me and thank you for writing about yourself i still have one one sweet subscriber i have not uh, responded to but i will do that before the sun goes down today or at least before nine o'clock gets here because <laughs> i'm in bed by nine o'clock and also i had laundry to do today so i just have a lot of stuff to do and no my husband doesn't help me so whatever that's fine because sometimes <laughs> it's easy helps but he don't if you know what I mean so you know it's just a short video I don't have a lot today to show you I still I have not put one stitch in this <coughs> blank in this sweater not a blanket a sweater somebody said I didn't know you could make tulip into a blanket well I probably said that by mistake and I'm sorry about that it isn't a blanket it's a sweater but as I said, and I've been wanting to get on it and work on it, but this monkey, in between all the breaks I had to have, has taken a lot of time. But isn't he the cutest little thing? And he just bobbins his head. But like I said, I would never give these safety eyes, I don't care if it does have a washer on it, I, I would be too fearful of that. So if I were to make one, that I was going to sell or give away, donate, whatever, I would definitely have to melt that into that safety eye, at least some, and bend it so it would not come out. That's just how, just how I feel about it. Okay, friends, well, that's what I've been up to. What have y'all been up to? I know y'all have been busy out there. I've read your comments. You're just working on Christmas stuff and all kinds of things. Oh, guess what I saw online today? I saw a free downloadable, downloadable pattern from Hobie.com. It's <clears throat> for a Santa Claus allergies. Santa Claus a Christmas coaster. And it's red and white. I don't think it's got some black on it too. Yeah, I think it does. I don't know where. Maybe it's mouth. I'm not sure. But uh, I downloaded it. And I would like to make some of those. But, folks, I'm so busy. I'm so busy. What was it my sister-in-law asked me? She said, make some Christmas projects for your video. <laughs> yeah, I, don't have, I don't hardly have time. <sighs> I barely got the monkey made. I don't have this finished. So I don't know. If I get this finished, I think I'm going to make some of those coasters. The Santa Claus coasters. They're so cute. If y'all want to, go look. Go look at Hobie.com and look up patterns or free patterns. And you can just download it. It's free. It's uh, it's something. And and uh, well, that's just, there's so many things out there. That's just, that's just what came across my screen today. But I bet there's a lot other better things out there. But anyway, I wanted to let you know about it. So thank you again for subscribing. Thank you for stopping by and visiting with me today. I'm so glad you did. Uh, if you haven't, please hit the subscribe button if you like my content. And I'll be back either tomorrow or the next day. Hopefully tomorrow because now I'm going to get on this thing. Now that the monkey's finished. And I'm not starting that teddy bear, the, the yarn I got from uh, Hobby Lobby, till I get this finished. Because if I don't get it finished, if I don't start working on it, I'm not going to get it finished. Okay. Okay, well, that's all I have for you, folks. And stay warm, stay well, or stay cool, whatever. Stay well, no matter what. But stay cool if you're in a hot place. Stay warm if you're in a cold place. And uh, I'll see you real soon. Okay, folks? Okay, till next time, it's a wrap from here. Bye now.